uh, Adam Savage at Prop Store in LA with Brandon Alger. Hello, sir. Hey, thanks for coming in. We have a couple of amazing pieces from your upcoming auction, uh, recognizable the world over as Statler and Waldorf. Wait a minute, which one is Statler? Uh, one is? Uh, I think this is Statler. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Paul, did I do we'll Google know. it. Uh, yes, yes, the Muppets, the Muppets uh, resident hecklers up in their box seats. I, yeah, it's hard to overstate how impressive it is to see these things up close in person. Well, Muppets are just iconic, right? I mean, they're just, everybody knows the Muppets, everybody grew up with them, and they have such a unique look that is solely reserved for the Muppets. And you, this is, these aren't the first Muppets you've handled. Actually, I think they are the first Muppets really? we've handled. We, we've, we've had other Henson-related puppets, like things from Dark Crystal, for example, mm -hmm. but actual Muppet characters, I think these are the only ones. Wow. They're very scarce, you know, they just don't turn up. It is, they're so lovely. I, you know, I know that uh, Muppet, Muppets are famously built out of fleece, but I also feel like there's a lot of flocking going on on these. Too. It, it does look very flocked, mm -hmm. um, and I, I know for some of the Miss Piggies, they were actually cast foam latex heads mm -hmm. that got fleeced. So that is still how they make them, I believe. Is that right? Yeah, I love seeing that this guy's got hair in his ears—a detail <laughs> I had never seen before. So do you think these are carved foam or you think these are cast foam? That's a good question. I don't know. Yeah. Um, you know, I, look, the, the, I, I'm sure for Muppet builders, it's six, one half dozen the other that, mm -hmm. they, can, that they can get this form just by, by sculpting with scissors and their, their various techniques. Um, Certainly I, the neck looks like a sheet of foam, right? Yeah. It's just a wrapped sheet of foam. Oh my God, they're so beautiful. Do I you, just... <laughs> <laughs> do you want to try one on? <gasps> really? Well, yes. you're here, right? Yes. I think, I think we can do that gently, right. gently and safely. Okay. Should, uh, we, should we get the gloves? Yes, let's get the gloves. Out there of we go. due respect to the Muppets and all totally. things Jim Henson. Oh. <laughs> I feel like I'm performing an operation. <laughs> I'll just take this off so I don't bump anything with it. Oh, wow. There we go. Yeah, there you go. And look at that. <gasps> all right side without moving around too much. Oh, I am not gonna try opening the mouth at all. This thing is ancient. There's probably some natural rubbers in here that uh, don't need to be stressed anymore. But, oh man, look at him, he's so pretty. Yes, he's pretty. <laughs> That's awesome. It's amazing, just putting it on your hand, it immediately jumps to life, right? Yeah. There's, there's some life in it, just you moving it around like that. I, you know, I've been lucky enough to see some real Muppeteers do their jobs in person. And it is, it is, it's like, yeah, it's watching something come out of nothing. You put it on their hand and instantaneously a character is. So much character just in the eyes. Yeah. So much that you take away from those. Oh my goodness. Whatever. Yeah. Really Ooh. special pieces. Dude, I cannot believe these. I saw, this is one of the pieces in the catalog that's going towards, oh! Yeah. We've had a few people say that looking through it. I, I didn't know quite how well they would land, but I guess it's just the Muppet, the, the love for the Muppets endures, right? People, they are so, yeah, absolutely. Big part of a lot of people's childhoods and lives. Oh my God. Yeah, they've been part of my entire life since 1980. Yeah. It's, the creative work of Jim Henson, just as a body of work, is pretty amazing. You know, everything that he was able to do and achieve and the ground that he broke and... You know, and when I talk to the, the I have friends who, who worked with him back then, and they talk about uh, what it was like to be on a crew with a leader whose only goal was, does this scene work with the, with the drama and the script and the actors working? He's like, we just kept on shooting until we got it right. And Jim just took whatever time it took to do that. And it, like, you can hear the, the deep respect for the process that he engendered in everybody. Yeah. Is this 2021 Hollywood you're talking about? Or <laughs> something a little different, right? Yeah. yeah. Slightly different era of, uh, of creativity and filmmaking. Oh, man. Yeah, I think there's a lot of flocking going on on this. He's really beautiful. And what are the eyes? Are they, maybe they're vacuum uh, plastic? Yeah, I think those are vacuum form plastic with a little bit of, because you can see it here clearly, like that's a vacuum form egg shape. This is white styrene. It looks like it's barely painted, although I know that they do actually paint these hmm. um, in order to get depth out of them. 
And we think from our research that this one, Statler, is circa the 1990s. This one, circa the 1980s, which is cool because oh, obviously wow. it's the era of Jim himself, Jim Henson. Oh, um, but it's, uh, you know, another thing I wonder is like, I wonder how many Muppets they made. Like for a given season or the life of the show, I wonder what sort of volume these puppets existed in. I think it's a lot. You think so? I remember hearing that Miss Piggy, like the Miss Piggy had survived one per show. Hmm. And that they had to remake one every single time because it was very, very delicate. Right. I remember hearing that, and like, that means that there's In hundreds total. and hundreds right. and hundreds. Yeah. So where are they? Because we've never handled them. Not many. The other thing I love is how many great designers actually made dresses for Miss Peggy. Mm. That there are Valentinos and Edith Heads and like unbelievable pieces made for that puppet, and uh, they still have all of oh, them. Oh, that's very cool. Yeah. yeah. Brandon, I never imagined I'd get to see one of these, a Muppet in general, up close and personal, let alone put one on my hand. Thank you, man. Hey, absolutely. This is bucket list material. Happy to show them off. <laughs> uh, prop store auction is June 29th, 30th, and July 1st. Yes, it is. It has some unbelievable pieces. Brandon, thank you so much, hey, man. Thanks for coming. Yep. What an amazing thing. Bye, everybody. Thank you.